Hey, YouTube. Hey, guys. Do you want to hold them up? It's that time of month again. I'll see you in a sec. Okay, so, yeah, it's this time of month again. Um, which one do you want to open first? Which one do you want to show them first? Um, we'll go, we'll go grow your own. Okay. Got a bit of Do you want to hand me the seeds or are you going to try and read the seeds to the viewers? Um, I'll try and You're going to try and do it, are you? Yeah, if I can't pronounce it, I'll give it to you. <laughs> you can try your best. And I'll have a quick look at the mags. Oh! So you can tell I don't do don't prepare this, can't you? There you go. So right. first of all, count how many packets there is. Right, so we do have a bit of Thompson and Morgan season. It's so, okay, yeah. just count how many packets there is. Eight, nine, ten. Ten seeds. Ten packets. Okay. Okay. Do you want to start uh, showing them to the peoples? So here we got carrot, Paris Marker, Atlas. Yeah. That's um, it. Can you tell them the sh the soil months? So the soil months are May, April. No, March, April, May, June, July. Cool. Very common. Very, very common packet of seeds in the magazines, that one. Then we just have some mustard. Is it just mustard, is it? <laughs> yeah. Mustard is an all year rounder, so no yeah, need to I know. the months on that one. Uh, we got a courgette, Fernsey. Okay. Um, uh, we can sort of. Yeah. Yeah. We can uh, plant this indoors in uh, April and May. So outdoors at May and June. Cool. Cool. And we got beetroot. Um, sorry, I got. That looks like choggier to me. That does. Yeah, it's choggier. And you're gonna sow it. I think it's the same as the, the first one, Don't the know, carrot. Let's have a look. It's March, April, May, June. Oh, you could do a June and July in that. Right, one. Yeah, we've got some basil, sweet green. We'll sow some of that. Yeah, we can, we can only sow these indoors. Well, yeah, we've got some here, though. And so it's growing quite sow, nice. We need to sow some more. But we'll sow it in with the tomatoes when we plant the tomatoes out. Alright, this can be grown at February, March, April, May and June. Cool. Do you want to give me the seeds as you're done with them? Uh, Make it a bit easier on your hands. And we got, ooh, we got some cosmos. Cosmos, cool, some flowers. No, cupcake white, the, these can be planted indoors. Doesn't say we can plant them outdoors. Um, they do go outdoors, but they're best started indoors. So we can uh, plant um, like uh, March, April, May. Cool. All right, so we got some uh, lavatura, hot pink, and it doesn't say. Oh, it says that so much to May, and that's all. It says what, about. what does it say? It Adds a hint care. of satin to your borders. Bushy plants become smothered in beautiful rays of fully round hot pink blooms, stunning in borders or containers, and on a sunny patio. We are going to do a load of flowers because we want them in this bed here. So we got. Mediterranean mix, I think. Wildflower Mediterranean mixture. Okay. That's just a sprinkle and forget normally. Uh, that is March to May. And then we got Honesty Lunara Anuna, I think. Lunaria, yeah, very good, very good. Close, close, um, very close. It can be a certain April, May, and not June outdoors. Sorry. Right, then last and final one, we got Sweet Pea. Here come the girls. Here come the girls. We can sow these in January, October, November, December. So they're practically a winter food pea. Yeah, they're not a food pea though. <laughs> they're a flower. They're a flower. And we got March, April, May for outdoors. And it flowers about June, July, April, June, July, August time. 
And that's all the seeds. That's all the seeds from Grow Your Own. Yeah. Mm. What do you think? Considering it's supposed to be a Grow Your Own veg magazine. It got lots of flowers. Lots of flowers in it. Lots of flowers. So you gotta think it's springtime and they gotta start selling flowers. Well, yeah, all right. I, I, I do appreciate a bit of variety. It's it's not, not horrible. But, mm, yeah. Okay. The magazine... I'm not seeing upon, you know, a quick scan masses of good articles. There's a couple of nice ones. One about herbs, one about growing, what do they say? Grow all year summer. Grow all summer. Action plan. You got a lot more seeds in the kitchen garden. By the way, if you want a more in-depth look at the actual magazine, head on over to Veggie Grow How on Facebook. Um, the creator the there. Yeah, well, I'll look at that one in a sec. The creator at Veggie Grow How, the creator of the group. I'm a mod on there, but I don't get much time on Facebook. Um, he does a very deep dive into the magazine and, sh and, and, and things like that. So do head on over to Veggie Grow How. Also, before I forget, if you like these videos, if you find them useful, I know this one's a little bit late, please do press the like button and subscribe and don't forget Share i'll try it. and remember to put a uh, i don't know which corner it comes up in a little card to head on over to the garantia urban raised bed giveaway okay don't forget I'll, I'll i'll put a card in and i'll put a link in the description below to the video there is very few requirements for that competition so please do head on over Let's crack on. Shall we open? Let's get that one opened up. All right, I'll try and open it this time. Ah. What do you think to my aubergines, guys? They're massive. I had masses of aphid problems this year for the first time ever. And I'm blaming these guys. I'm blaming the dahlias. They attract a lot of bugs, right? They're well known to be loved by aphids. And I've got nearly 80 dahlias in here at the moment. Here's the magazine. Oh, thank you. Ooh, that feels very thin. Normally they're ain't thin, right? Well, it's normally quite thin, but this feels very thin. All right, we so got... So do, do them a count all together first. We got quite a lot of seeds. Well, it feels like quite a lot. It might not be. We got... One, two, three, four, five. We've got some flour in here. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Okay. Um, that, that's fine. Lots of adverts. Oh, we got ten again. So we've got some, a special on herbs. This is a good one, a special on canning and growing. Uh, growing sweet your corn. tomatoes. <laughs> I think we've got quite enough sweet corn in. Golden Bantam, we grew that the other year. Go on then, run it, run them through it, eh? run them through. All right, I'm just gonna put the flour at the back. Oh, we got flat, uh, what, just one? Yeah, just uh, the one, I think. Okay, cool. Yeah, just the one. It's got packet of seeds getting wet through. Um, we got a uh, rhubarb chard. Okay, we won't grow that. Why? Because you, we've tried beet leaf and you didn't like it. We might try it again. Um, uh, March, uh, so to, uh, so March to uh, July. The rhubarb chard. Caught a lot of people out, catches out a lot of new growers. This is chard, not rhubarb, it's just rhubarb in colour. Uh, March, April, May, June, July. Don't get caught out, this isn't rhubarb. This you can't make a crumble well, you can make a crumble out of this, but it's a savoury one. Ooh. Uh, we got a sanded leaf here, mustard red frills. Cool, all year round jobby. Yeah. Mustard. And uh, as Dad already said, uh, we got three corn golden and that. Bantam. Got your sweet corns want to be starting going in now, guys. You want to time it for about four weeks before the end of your frost period. And then we sow it to April to, from April April to May. April to May. Alright. And we got the cauliflower. Is it the usual? Yeah, all year round. Not a, not a full all year round. No, though. they call it all year round, but you can't sow it all year round. You can sow it Some again. Some months are just too cold. We got January to May, um, or September to October. 
We can sew these now. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I've, I've got some in. Oh. I'll be honest though, not a great collie. Not a great collie. Um, we so we got some radicio. Some chicory. Chicory. Um, sewn April to August. Yeah, I grew that last year and nobody was... But nobody enjoyed it. I love it. I think chicory is gorgeous, but uh, these guys didn't like it. Too bitter for me. It was, yeah. I um, love it. Then we got some carrots. Oh, are they early nanties or sweet candle? Early nanties. Awesome. Yeah, <laughs> number two. Early nanties, number two. So I have these April to July. April to July, then. Ooh, we got we pumpkin. Need to get the carrots in. We got, we got pumpkin, jack o' lantern. We've got pumpkins in already. Um, I don't know where they are. They're here. I can't remember which ones they are. These the guys on the video will know because they've seen the video. But yeah, pumpkins are in. Um, so we can say these say uh, April to June. Okay. No, they'll probably be ready some... for Halloween. They will. If you want your pumpkins ready for Halloween, you need to be getting them in now, and they need to be in a warm place. You need to get them germinated, otherwise you're possibly going to miss out on uh, Halloween. Little tip, even if they're green and you want them for Halloween, harvest them about a month ahead of time, put them in a warm place inside, they'll turn orange. That's what we did last year. Uh -oh. But we didn't manage to carve them, we forgot. Well, we carved a few, right? Yeah, we did some. Uh, so we got some uh, basil, classic Italian. Ooh, that's the basil I prefer. So that one's definitely gonna get some. Then we got Brussels. Dark Mar. Oh, they done Dark Mar 21 again. Yeah. We've, got, we've actually got some of them in. That's March to April. March to April, so we're a bit late to sew these. That's fine, they'll, they'll last until next year, um, or we can give them to the uh, seed collective. Last but not least, we got Sunflower Giant Single. Giant Single? Okay, well, we want to sew some of them. Um, might, uh, April, May, we're, up, we're on time for this. Mm. We might want to get Grandad. Uh, because Grandad's coming tomorrow, so we might get Grandad in on a bit of a sunflower competition between us, yeah? Yeah. See if he see who can grow the tallest. I haven't had much of a look at this magazine, to be honest. Um, I, I'm getting very disheartened with the quality of the magazines recently. There's a lot of ads in them. Probably because COVID and people want to be advertised. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of ads in them. It's... Uh, it's, I mean, it's, there's, there's still some good content in here. There's some make your own cleaners and stuff like that and natural alternatives to stuff you can grow and make. Looks to be a lot of focus on herbs this month. A good, looks like a good article on corn if like me you struggle with germination, but mine's doing all right. I've actually got it under the spider farmer. Um, sewed it last weekend. And I'll pop you in before the end of, before, at the end of the video. I'll pop you in and we can have a look at it. Pat, pat. Um, but yeah, okay, so, almost forgot, I promised a quick look at the, oh, sweet corn inside the spider farmer. Not a great deal to see, but this is only a week old. Uh, and so far, that's seed and cutting, that's Jack's magic. And so far, there's nearly double the amount up in the Jack's magic than there is in the spider, in the seed and cutting. So maybe my theory has been proved wrong. Maybe all these years, what I haven't been, what I've been doing wrong, hasn't been the compost. We will have to wait and see. Thought we'd. Uh, the weather's been hor horrific. The plan was to be down the allotment today, but it'll just be too muddy. But it's just been raining all day. I don't know if it's alive or they're dead. No, they're alive. We need to neem oil. Neem oil. Where are the neem oil? We'll sort it out in a bit. Um, yeah, I do try and <laughs> I do try and do these uh, these sort of unbaggings as soon as I can. Um, this month has just been a comedy of errors, a lot of problems. So you'll have to excuse me, but I've got there in the end. So if, this is, if you find this handy, if it helps narrow down which magazine you might want to buy, if your decision is based solely on seeds, because uh, I will say this month the magazines are pretty damn similar in content. Um, if I had a choice on a basic skim through, for me, Kitchen Garden is the better magazine. There's a lot more handy articles. 
not about growing but the things about canning and making your own cleaners and abrasives and things like that are a lot is, is very useful whereas the growing articles in both of these magazines this month seem to be pretty weak whose seeds did you think were better kitchen gardens or grow your own um grow your own had a lot of flowers did. so i'll have to say grow house so i'll have to say kitchen garden you don't have to, you can say whichever one you think is better. Kitchen garden. I think kitchen garden. Um, not as many flowers. Not as many flowers and a lot more relevant for the time of year. Um, but Just I've got to say, it is nice to have some flowers in the seed collection. Again, and they probably are going to get sown. So, yeah, I, I, I can't say it's a bad thing. I can't say it's a bad thing in truth. So anyway. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe, it's all down there in the corner. Don't forget, head on over to the Grantia video now that this one's finishing. And, uh, and enter that competition. It's a cracking giveaway. It really is. I've blown myself away with that giveaway, I really have. It's going to cost me a fortune to post. And thank you to Grantia for, the give for giving me the opportunity to do a giveaway. Wait, Grantia gave you uh, permission? They gave me permission and they gave me the bed to give away. Mm. <laughs> they, that was their stipulation. We'll, we'll, we'll do your giveaway video. Anyway, I'll see you later. Bye.